So do you tune into this channel to discover new houses? Because I really do enjoy exploring and showing and previewing new fragrance houses to you guys. Actually, this brand is not necessarily very new, but I haven't spoken about them on the channel. And also, they're from Germany and another reason to review because I haven't reviewed many German brands on the channel. So we're talking about a brand called Bergholz and I'm reviewing for you today Nights in Noto and Romance in Florence. Look at these bottles. Nice Christmas colors here, green and red. And I've got a 10% off discount code with the already discounted prices over at Fragrance Buy. So find out about these fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about Brookhold's perfume manufacturer from Germany. Are you guys familiar with these uh, fragrances? Both of these fragrances are created by Dominique Mulhausen, who I actually spoke about yesterday in a video for Mass Milano and Milano Fragranza with the sad passing of uh, Alessandro Brun. So her name has come up two days in a row now, and these are two fragrances that she's created. So when I got the opportunity to do a video on this house, I jumped at it because as I said, I love exploring new houses and also showing it to you guys. So you can find out about houses that are probably under the radar or not very well known. I have heard about this house, but this is the first time I'm really digging into the fragrances. So these were sent to me for this video from Fragrance Buy, and they're already discounted over there, almost yeah, around $110 off each. So Nights in Noto is $102.99, and there is a 10% off currently. It's Burke 10, B-I-R-K 10. And then Romance in Florence is $103.73, and of course, uh, an additional 10% off. So you're getting about $11, uh, $12 approximately off of each of these fragrances. So uh, if you don't know Fragrance Buy, I highly recommend uh, this website. I find some really great uh, fragrances over there, so go check them out, and again, Every fragrance in the Brookholds category is 10% off. So you, however many you buy, you save an additional 10% off of the fragrances from this house. So as I said, they're already currently discounted and there's additional discount of 10%. So let's talk about Nights in Noto first. I'm doing this in alphabetical order and this is my favorite of the two. Again, both of the fragrances are created by Dominic Mulhausen and this fragrance features saffron, ginger, bergamot, mandarin, rose, jasmine, amber, patchouli, sandalwood, oak moss, white musk, and vanilla. A lot of different things happening in here and one thing I noticed with both fragrances is that sometimes I say the fragrances are dry of one brand. Unfortunately, well not unfortunately in this case, Fortunately, these fragrances are on the juicy, syrupy side, not necessarily dry, which means for me with dry skin, the fragrances do cling on longer and last longer because dry skin and dry fragrances, I generally have issues with longevity. These two fragrances had great longevity for me because the fragrances in general, both of them are created very oomphy. They're pretty potent, intense and long lasting. And of course, the fact that they're also kind of on that syrupy, sticky side rather than dry and powdery, even though the fragrances do come off powdery, you'll notice that they're syrupy, sticky rather than dry and powdery. But Nights in Noto to me does remind me of another fragrance. In fact, both fragrances do remind me of other fragrances, but they're kind of variations on them. In fact, both of the fragrances, I didn't feel like they were very original but they're made really great in a way that they're very wearable and enjoyable because this Nights in Noto between the two is my favorite. It did remind me of Mancera's Instant Crush, which kind of also, you know, hints at something like Baccarat Rouge. But once again, Baccarat Rouge is on that dry side and Instant Crush is on that dry side. Here you can totally feel that kind of syrupy, sticky, ambery edge about it. And for me, I had great longevity with this one. And the fact that it had that kind of a hint at Baccarat Rouge with that kind of very sexy musky trail, I really enjoyed this one. Again, it's not necessarily anything original, but I enjoyed the way the fragrance wears. The saffron is pretty much prominent in this one. You'll notice it quite a bit. And in addition to its kind of spiciness, metallic edge, it also provides a bit of leather as well. So you'll notice the leather, but along the way, lots of the spices do come in, the citruses do come in. You'll experience some juiciness but it's very, very spicy, woody. There's that sweetness that a lot of people notice in Baccarat Rouge, Rouge that I don't notice, but I'm noticing it here because it's sweetened up with a lot of notes together. But again, as I said, also, this is kind of powdery, 
but powdery in a way that it wears kind of sticky, syrupy, and ambery as well. Some floral touches do come in very, very faintly, but for me, this is definitely very musky, ambery, earthy, creamy, syrupy comes in as well. And then there's a light hint of rose. It's the rose is very, very light. It's there, but you'll notice it here and there once in a while. But for me, this is very much all about that saffron note with the oak moss, the woods, the spices all rolled into one. Again, this is my favorite, but you know what? I also kind of layered the two together to give you a bit more more of an explosive edge about the fragrances, but I enjoy Nights in Noto all by itself because I really love the lingering trail that it leaves. If you like fragrances with a trail, you like that kind of Baccarat Rouge, Instant Crush DNA, I do recommend you try this one. Great longevity, very sexy trail, and the kind of notes that are in here are the kind that will linger on. Anyway, this is Nights in Noto from a house out of Germany called Burkholz. Are you familiar with this house? Again, very brand new to me, but definitely wanted to highlight it for you guys so you can discover something new and also get something uh, quite uh, discounted as well. Also the perfumer, are you familiar with Dominique Mulhausen? Uh, let me know, put a comment down below. So next up, we've got a fragrance called Romance in Florence. And as I was saying, I did enjoy layering these two together. And this fragrance, Romance in Florence, even though there's no mention of fruits. I do get a bit of a fruitiness from it. And it further reminds me of fragrances I'm familiar with. Herba Pura and Kirke come to mind. But once again, this is very juicy, syrupy, sticky, rather than dry. And even though this also has powdery elements, still the, the fragrance wears powdery, but it's not wearing dry at all. It's very sticky, syrupy, sweet. So this is white musk, cypriol, vanilla, saffron, cardamom, tonka beans, guyac wood. And again, that reminder of Kirke or more, more Herba Pura is definitely here, but less of a fruity take, but with a fruity reminder, right? There's no fruits mentioned in this one, but in the back, I am getting something fruity there, but not necessarily like a fruit bomb. Herba Pura and Kirke are very fruit forward. This one's not, but it is giving you the reminder of fruits in the background. Again, this is not my favorite DNA between the two. I much prefer Nights in Noto over Romance in Florence, but the fact that it didn't have the fruitiness in this, which is what really is what's preventing me from really enjoying Herba Pura and Kirke. For some reason, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the DNA of those two fragrances. And so this one does hint at it, but like I said, less fruit forward. Lots of white musk in here and the Cypriol is pretty prominent. It's this very interesting woody, earthy note that kind of is a reminder of maybe a little bit of vetiver, a little bit of patchouli. There's a lot of earthy woodiness there. So that vanilla also comes in and sweetens things up. And then of course, once again, there's saffron in here as well. But the saffron in Romance in Florence is not as prominent as the saffron in Nights in Noto. The saffron is here to give it light metallic, spicy, a slight leathery edge to it. But the spices do come in and I do like the spices in this one. And the fact that it's less like Herba Pura, but still reminding me of Herba Pura. I, I, I embrace this one a little bit more, but between the two, I much prefer Nights in Noto. And as I say, when you layer these two together, it does make the fragrances much more intense. And so you have the combination of that whole Instant Crush Baccarat Rouge-like DNA in the Nights in Noto. And with this one, there's complementing notes, the Saffron, the Cypriol and things like that are here to elevate what's in Nights in Noto and then to provide a little bit more of a muskiness and then also that slight fruitiness that comes in from the romance in Florence that's reminding me of Herba Pura and Kyoke. Anyway, those are my thoughts on both of these fragrances. Both of them do have great longevity, but I was more interested in Nights in Noto. I enjoy this DNA quite a bit. At first, I was never a fan of the fragrances like Baccarat Rouge, but I quite like it. I was a late bloomer on discovering, not necessarily discovering it, but really truly embracing it. So. Uh, it wasn't one of my favorite fragrances when it first launched, but now I enjoy it and that's why I really appreciate it, Nights in Noto. And the fact that you can layer these two together to make for something a bit more explosive was also a plus. But either way, those are my thoughts on these two fragrances. They're currently for sale on the Fragrance Buy website. Again, discounted already from around $210 suggested retail down to around $100, $203. And then there's that additional 10% off discount code. As I said, you can save 10% off these two or any of the Burkholz fragrances. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Are you familiar with this house? Let me know, put a comment down below. Those of you that are in Germany, are you familiar with this house? Again, they're fairly new to me. 
I've stumbled onto some of their samples here and there, but when I got the opportunity to review them here on the channel, I you know jumped at it because I enjoy exposing new brands to you guys so you can discover them as well, just like I'm discovering them. But if you do know the brand, let me know. Put a comment down below. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.